Am I the a-hole for not explaining why I keep a certain necklace and keeping a big secret? Since I'm stuck at home I've been doing some cleaning and getting rid of a lot of stuff. Today I went through my jewelry. I'm a jewelry freak and constantly buy myself dumb trinkets, but also have a few really nice pieces. I'm 25 so I was trying to clear out everything I don't slash wouldn't wear to work and basically narrow it down to my really nice pieces. I was facetiming with my bf and he asked if I'd done anything fun today and feeling sort of proud of myself I showed him my new jewelry box layout and explained it's all real gold and silver now. He pointed out that I had missed one. It's a glass bauble on a black silk string so it sticks out and clearly doesn't fit my new criteria. I replied oh, I'm keeping that one he pressed on why I was just keeping that one and I was weird and evasive it's important to me, it's sentimental it's just special okay. We've previously had fights about me keeping jewelry from exes and I've agreed to get rid of those pieces and have, so he naturally thought this was something from an ex I was keeping. It is, and it isn't. It is my ex. He's not here anymore. He was 21. I was 19 and real messed up by it, like, involuntarily committed messed up. His mom very kindly offered me some of his ashes. I had them made into a piece of jewelry and wore it for 2 years straight. I'd like to keep it and never wear it again and never even really look at it again and also never ever explain it. I know it's gaulish and wrong and a little disrespectful to this, by the way for years, relationship. Am I the a-hole for refusing to explain? Update, I told him about it. He said he'd be standing by me when I'm ready to lay him to rest. I asked what if I'm never ready, and he said I'll stand by you anyway I asked him if he could forgive me for keeping such a big secret, and he said there's nothing to forgive. He's a good man. We've got some insecurities on both sides to work through, but as long as I don't cheat and he doesn't die I think we'll be alright. Thanks for your time y'all. Stay safe. You're the a-hole. Your boyfriend knows you are hiding something about that necklace from him. He pressed you because you were not open and honest with him. This will hurt the trust in your relationship. You are deliberately using a lie of omission. This is when using a lie of omission is a lie. This is not an unintentional misgendering of a pre-existing misconception. You are knowing using to hide the truth from him. He has the right to know about what this keepsake means to you. The reason is the relationship he is in with you. He should know about how you feel about that loved one who was taken away too soon. How you are feeling about the keepsake would put his mind at ease about the past. I do not know how hard it is to lose someone you love how you did. I am able to feel your pain somewhat because that happened to my mom. Her fiancé was killed in Vietnam. I saw how it affected her, even years later. There will always be a little bit of his ghost with you. You need to be upfront and honest about it. That is part of moving on. Respect the past and the past will not compete with the present. Not doing can lead to you comparing the present with what you had with your ex. Doing so will let you cherish what you had instead. This can be hard on him. Because no matter what you will never truly be able to give him all of your heart, but he is more likely to be able to do so to you. My dad had to deal with it. He was great with it. He had to go down to Washington DC, found my mom's fiancé name, and etched it for her. He was so happy with the fiancé's mom, sister, and brother being a part of our life. The mom lived a block away from us, until I was 6, and we called her our aunt. We will visit her many times a week. Be strong and be honest to be open. If your boyfriend is worth having around he will be supportive. It might happen as clean cut as in the movies or books, but life does not happen in 2 hour windows. After reading all your replies not an a-hole. But, I'm genuinely confused as to why you both are pretending to be each other's first. Everything that you have lived through and experienced has made you the people you are today. I understand not wanting to talk about your previous partners with each other, but that's very different to basically lying about yourselves. I would be very concerned about his reaction after your conversation. He now believes that it is a gift from a previous lover that you won't let go of. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up going missing at a later date. I don't have any advice as to whether you should tell him what it really is because of the game 
that you two are playing. Not an a-hole. You're both supposed to trust each other, and it should be the end of it, in my opinion. You told him it's sentimental, and it's not from an ex, which technically it isn't, it's from an ex's mom, and contains an ex in part, which to my way of thinking, should be the end of it. It will probably hurt him, that you don't want to share with him the story of why it's sentimental, and you'll have to deal with those consequences but neither of you are assholes. I do think it would be better to just talk about it, if you really trust and love each other though. If he's so jealous of a past boyfriend who's dead then maybe he's got some stuff he needs to work on. If you can't trust him to open up yet you both need to talk about that too. Not the a-hole, but if you don't want to explain it, you should hide it away. Also keep in mind any future spouse of yours will want to know what this secret is about. You'll have to talk about it sometime. I honestly think he will be that future spouse. We want to be each other's one and only. It's just something I've hidden away deep inside myself that I just don't talk about ever with anyone. But I guess I'm going to have to. I'm just so scared that he'll look at me like I'm crazy. Cause I literally medically was for a little bit there. I'm really scared he'll break up with me for keeping this secret. We agree no secrets. Then talk to him. And tell him you don't want to keep secrets and though this isn't a secret from him, it's something that has been difficult for you to talk about. If he isn't able to see you as a powerful woman who overcame unimaginable tragedy and personal pain while struggling with your health, then he isn't worthy of being your one and only. Not the a-hole. You don't wear it, and it's a deeply traumatic memory for you. You don't owe your... So every part of your life, and while it would be nice to be comfortable telling them, if you're not you're not. Also I'm of the opinion you don't get rid of jewelry from exes for any reason other than you want to, unless it's an engagement or wedding ring you're still wearing on that finger. A previous relationship doesn't mean you should forego your property, unless you are clearly using it as an emotional reminder of that person. As I tell anyone who asks me if I got rid of jewelry from an ex. It's not the jewel Riz fault that dude sucks. And no boyfriend of mine has ever been insecure about it. My current so says that I could even wear my previous engagement ring as a fashion ring and he wouldn't think twice about it. I'm clearly with him, and to us, it's no different than using a game console slash iPad slash car slash toaster slash artwork etc from an ex. Its usefulness doesn't expire with the relationship. You're the a-hole. Not for keeping the necklace, but for not being honest and transparent. Integrity matters in a relationship. If you can't communicate with your boyfriend properly, even about hard to discuss, emotional, and painful topics that is a huge problem in your relationship, and one that you need to work out if you want to move forward with your boyfriend. Your boyfriend WBTA for not being understanding and hearing you out about why you keep the necklace, but this isn't something you should be hiding and lying about. If Opso is so insecure that he can't stand for his partner to have a memento of a deceased former love, then he's too insecure to be in a relationship right now and needs to go off and work on himself first. The alternative to talking about this isn't just closing your eyes and it all goes away. The alternative to talking is making assumptions. He's not going to magically forget he saw it. He's going to assume it's a gift from an ex. And he's going to be mad slash unhappy, even if secretly and probably passively aggressively redirect that unhappiness into other means of trying to control her slash make her prove her love. Problems don't just disappear when you don't talk. This relationship isn't otherwise working if he has so little trust in her and so little willingness to let her manage her own life, that he freaks out over a piece of jewelry she keeps in a box. Does anyone else think it's a bit controlling for a boyfriend to want you to get rid of gifts from other people who you dated? You might not necessarily have had a bad breakup, or pieces can hold sentimental value, even if you don't have feelings for slash contact with the giver. You had a life before your boyfriend came on the scene, and he needs to accept that. Your history makes you who you are. I agree that it's a bit controlling. I was gifted a beautiful golden diamond pendant necklace for Valentine's Day from an ex. I wore the necklace every single day and even wore it on my first date with my current SO. 
Once me and my ESO became an official item, I stopped wearing it. My guy told me that it didn't bother him in the slightest, that it was a gift from an ex-boyfriend. I actually stopped wearing it and sold it because as much as I love the necklace, I hate the guy who gave it to me, but that was my decision, not his. Exactly, I don't get how people are just glossing over that. I have a bunch of nice jewelry pieces I got from my exes, and obviously I'm not wearing them 24-7 around my BF, but he'd never tell me to get rid of them, let alone have fights about it. I can't fathom caring that he keeps nice watches and such from his exes either. They're objects that have value to her that has nothing to do with the past relationships. Op, your boyfriend is out of line and it's not disrespectful at all to keep your own property. Not the a-hole. I know people are saying it's you for being cagey or sneaky about why you're keeping that item, but I have a problem with your explanation that you had fights before about jewelry you have from your exes, and it ended with you agreeing to get rid of the pieces. I think that's a problem. He shouldn't be so insecure that you have to get rid of a nice piece of jewelry or a scarf or hat or vase, or whatever, just because it came from an ex. Is it really gaulish and disrespectful to the relationship to not explain, or is it really that you're trying to avoid a fight and having him demand you get rid of it if you do explain? I think you're long overdue for the we all have a past discussion along with some serious questions about whether he's jealous and why he thinks you can't keep these things. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. See you all later.